Hello, I'm here with your delivery. The pizza looks delicious. Now that you're full, your body's gears are turning. All of the cells in your body have to turn that delicious pizza you just ate into a more usable form of energy, ATP. In your body, the pizza you ate was broken down into simpler molecules like glucose. Many of the cells in your body took up the glucose from your pizza and have begun converting it into cellular energy through a process called glycolysis. This process occurs in the liquid portion of the cell called the cytoplasm and is the first step to creating cellular energy. Glucose is chopped in half to make two three carbon molecules known as pyruvate. Pyruvate must then be shuttled to a different part of the cell known as the mitochondria in order to produce energy. The mitochondria is like the school cafeteria of the cell. It creates food for all the other departments in the cell so that they can function properly, much like the cafeteria provides food so that the teachers and students can do their jobs. In the mitochondria, a complex of proteins called PDC, or pyruvate dehydrogenase complex, works to convert pyruvate from glycolysis into acetyl-CoA, the starting product for the major process of energy production known as TCA. Let's zoom in on PDC for a second. This complex consists of three subunit enzymes, E1, E2, and E3. These enzymes are kind of like the lunch ladies in the cafeteria, or mitochondria. Each has a very specific job that is essential for the efficient production of food, or in the cell, for the continued production of usable energy. The first subunit, E1, is a decarboxylase. Its job is to collect pyruvate and chop one of the carbons off, kind of like preparing food to cook. This carbon is lost in the form of carbon dioxide, leaving a two-carbon product also called an acetyl group. Next, E2, a dihydrolipoamide acetyltransferase, has the job of taking the two-carbon prepped food from E1 and transferring it onto a cooking pan, or in the case of the cell, onto a carrier protein called coenzyme A. This is accomplished because the E2 enzyme has arm-like projections sticking off of it, like spatula in the cafeteria worker's hands, that transfer the acetyl onto CoA. Prepped food, acetyl-CoA, can then be sent to other enzymes in the mitochondria to continue making energy from it. Lastly, E3 a dihydrolipoamide acetotransferase has the role of wiping the excess food off the spatula to be sent to the chefs, NADH, and then washing the spatulas so that they can be reused to continue making food. All of these subunits are very close together, like conjoined triplets all connected to each other so that the products can be transferred efficiently from one person to the next. It is very important that your cells have functioning PDC in their mitochondria because it provides a crucial link between aerobic metabolic processes such as glycolysis and the citric acid cycle. If your PDC is not functioning, there is no prep work of the cellular food for the enzymes involved in TCA, so the kitchen ultimately shuts down and very little energy is produced for the cell. And if this happens, you can get very sick very fast.